Jacket is finally fall, and that means we have an abundance of squash. <laughs> Chef Frank from Cappuccinos is here, and you've come up with some really interesting ways to eat squash. Yeah, I'm trying to offer my guests a little more healthier version, <sighs> some healthier options, because <laughs> I myself, as I get older, I want to eat healthier and I want to pass it along to my guests. So one of the things we have right now is we have an amazing abundance of squash. And we're getting that locally and it's beautiful, so we want to be able to use it to the best of our ability. And then for cappuccinos, I want to try to get it to the Italian you know, style of it. And you've got a couple different options Yeah, we've here. got a couple different options. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I'm trying to do this, this menu is give people a gluten-free option, a healthy mm. gluten-free option. So this is spaghetti squash. You can find it anywhere, cut it in half. You want to steam it with a little bit of water, cover it, okay? Take the, take the pulp out. Face down. Face down, about an hour at 400 degrees, okay? And then once you get that, you can go ahead and it just really beautifully oh, just it comes, comes right, right, out. right off, okay? So that's a great option, healthy option. Number two is we got this beautiful acorn squash. Mm. You can do two things with it. You can just roast it, season it, and serve it the way it is, or you can use it as a mashed, roasted acorn squash and serve it as like a potato. So the spaghetti potato. squash is readily available. Is the acorn squash hard yes, to find? Yes, absolutely. No. You can get this anywhere. Okay. So basically what we do is we take these beautiful acorn squash and you gotta be very carefully when you're opening these, okay? They're very hard to open. They get a very hard shell. So you wanna make sure you got Vessels. pretty good knife, knife skills, yeah. <laughs> so what you wanna do is you wanna take the acorn squash, cut it in half, peel it out, mm. clean out the pulp. And then we have this really nice, um, coating I make. It's a rub. It's just brown sugar, garlic, salt, pepper, some cardamom, some cinnamon, and you just put it on your acorn squash, give it some nice olive oil, okay? And then as you can see, I put sage leaves right in the middle. Pretty. So instead of putting the sage actually in it, we want to just get the flavor of it. And then once we do is once we get it, it's cooked, we take the pulp out, put some mascarpone cheese, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we toast it with some pine nuts, some so, roasted pine nuts. So it's got some crunch to it, it's got some savory, it's some beautiful. sweet. It's beautiful, absolutely. Mm. Savory and sweet, that's my favorite, yes. my favorite. And don't forget the seeds now. Now all these kids love pumpkin seeds, even my kids love pumpkin seeds, okay? Take all these <laughs> seeds and put a little salt and pepper and roast them while you're cooking these squash, and you'll have a nice little treat. You love that, some extra bonus. I absolutely, love that. extra bonus. Mm -hmm. And so people can get these over at Cappuccinos. Cappuccinos, yes. Mm. Coming out with our new menu next Tuesday, and these will be featured on it. Love it when you can use fresh local Absolutely. Produce. I'm all about it. Thank you Absolutely. so much for coming in. Appreciate it. We're going to have these recipes on our website, WBIR.com. Yep.